of my earliest experiments, I had always held a belief, amounting almost to an intuition, that radio signals would someday be sent across to greatest distances. The day would come when mankind would be able to send messages between the furthermost ends of the earth. Cape Cod to the 100th anniversary of Marconi's first spot cap transmission between the United States and Europe. This event will be open and free to the public. Our base of operation will be at Coast Guard Beach in East Ham from January 11th through the 19th. Marconi is listening. It is right for us to salute radio amateurs all over the world on this occasion. My father was always very close to them. He considered radio amateurs part of his spiritual family and never tired of keeping in touch with them, sharing their ideas, their problems, and their achievements. The one young man who was showing him how he had put together his own set and in answer to his deprecating remarks about his work not being too good because, after all, he was only an amateur, my father replied, don't forget, young man, that I, too, am only an amateur. And I am very happy to have this great joy to and then with the monument of my father, it will be here, the headquarters. I was very, very happy uh, to be with you all and to um, have my father close to me. That uh, you know that I love you and I love Cape Cod and I feel at home here. Thank you very much. NA1SS, we hear you weekly. Would you please call again? This is WH6PN. Over. WH6PN, NA1SS, has you loud and clear. How about me? Uh, Commander Bauer Sox, we hear you loud and clear. This contact will begin with a greeting from Princess Marconi. Go ahead, Princess. Okay, great. Hello, everyone. My name is Elettra Marconi. 100 years ago today, my father, Guglielmo Marconi, sent the first wireless message across the Atlantic Ocean from Cape Cod. In this same spirit of his achievement, and also from Cape Cod, I send this wireless greeting to you in space. Cordial greetings, good wishes, and God bless you. Over. Thank you very much. It's uh, wonderful to hear your voice uh, carried across the radio waves. And it's amazing how far uh, society and uh, radio communication has come in the last 100 years. A commemorative message from the President of the United States, George W. Bush, to follow. The White House, Washington. I send greetings to those celebrating the 100th anniversary of the first wireless telegraph transmission 
between the United States and Europe. In January 1903, President Theodore Roosevelt, in a message to King Edward VII, recognized Guillermo Marconi's invention as a wonderful triumph of scientific research and ingenuity. By inventing the first practical system of wireless telegraphy, Marconi pioneered international communications and opened the door for technological advances that have improved the lives of countless Americans and people around the world. I commend the Marconi Radio Club for honoring the proud accomplishments of Guglielmo Marconi, and I applaud your efforts to inspire future innovators to work hard to realize their dreams. Laura joins me in sending our best wishes for a memorable celebration. Signed, George W. Bush, President of the United States.